Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your November 2020 Oracle and Tarot reading. My name is Tessa, and this is Tessa's Tarot. Before I go ahead and jump into your guys' reading, just to make a couple of quick notes, I am using the Vintage Wisdom Oracle deck and the Influence of the Angels Tarot deck. Um, I'm going to pull 11 Oracle cards, with one card being the underlying energy that's, gonna, that's going to pull the story forward. And then I'm going to pull uh, one tarot card for each oracle card. And then I'm going to pull three tarot cards at the very end to kind of see how the story, um, uh, to kind of see how it strings into the ending, okay? <laughs> I know I have a very interesting way of explaining things, but that is like, That is how thing that has ha that is how energy makes sense to me. Okay, so like when I'm trying to explain how energy works within my realm of understanding and how I feel it and how I envision it, it's kind of like a cause and effect sort of unraveling. Okay, so there's kind of like an under um, there's kind of like this base energy it's like an unconscious energy almost of like what's pulling you it's an energy that you're not even a hundred percent aware of that you're doing it you're just doing it and within that not knowing you're putting your attention towards all these other energies and all these different things but it's that underlying energy that's kind of pulling you towards trying to find a resolution, okay? So then when we pull three tarot cards at the ending, it's sort of like, it's sort of like pulling the unconscious energy up into the conscious realm and merging what, and like kind of like merging it all together so it's all fluid. So it's all just kind of like, uh, fluidly working together towards the same goal. That's my explanation and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get into this. Okay. So, you know, as I was shuffling your guys' decks, um, I feel like you guys are like, sort of on the back burners right now. Like, where, where are the Geminis? I, you know, you... <laughs> um, I'm feeling like you guys are maybe keeping to yourselves a little bit more right now. Maybe because we're in Scorpio season and it's like everything is like... You're all up in your feels and it, maybe you're just not feeling yourself. Or you're not communicating, maybe, like, your deeper feelings. Sorry. I just got, like, a moment. Um, maybe some of you are having a lot of headaches right now. You know? There's just too much going on. A lot of pressure in the air. And it's true. A lot of pressure. Whew. I mean, I feel it, too. So, trust me. Um, definitely feeling some pressure there. Um, I think you got some mental pressure maybe going on too. And especially like next week is, um, election week. And then we have the full moon coming up in Taurus. So I think you're just feeling the pressure from all of it. Um, Mars is in Aries. Mars is in its home, uh, sign. Neptune is in its home sign in Pisces. So it's like, and Venus is now currently in Libra. So, yeah, there's a lot of really potent, a lot of potent, potent energy. Um, it could be draining you a little bit. I, I think that Scorpio season is maybe like kind of sucking the life out of you a little as a mutable air sign. And then we're dealing with fixed water. So it's kind of like, I think you're feeling the heaviness of it. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Um, yeah, I'm definitely feeling some really heavy energy. So let's go ahead and get into your reading and see what's going on over here. Okay, so for underlying energy, we have celebration. <laughs> I kind of got this sense with this card as like, bring on the full moon, bring on the costumes, bring on Halloween. Like you just want to get out of this funk. 
I feel like you've been like in a funk lately a little bit and you just want to get out of it. Like put, put me in a costume, like just, or this is something that you need to start embracing. Like, you know, maybe you need to start embracing, you know, this season of Halloween and like, instead of falling into the heaviness of this energy, like take that energy and like live it up, you know, get dressed up, go to a party, go to a bar. Like this is, um, there's this like deeper part of you that just kind of like needs to express itself right now. And you can channel that. Like if you don't want to talk about your feelings, you could just channel that energy in different ways. Go on an adventure, okay? Adventure, grace, intuition. Okay, so I'm just going to pull out these oracle cards and then we're going to jump into the tarot and clarify them. But I'm feeling like you need to go on an adventure. You need to kind of like purge yourself of these feelings that are, that have been really heavy inside of you. We have kindred spirits, okay? Some friendship. Um, feelings of friendship, feelings of, con of a deeper spiritual, excuse me, connection with somebody else. We have union. Okay, this kindred spirit that we're talking about, this could be a romantic partner. Okay, wanting to move towards your uh, romantic partner, sense of union, new beginnings. Okay, some new beginnings here. Something is happening here. Beauty. Something, I'm feeling this as in the home, you know, maybe like a new beginning in the home. Maybe you're redecorating discernment, taking a look at closer things. Maybe you're trying to like figure out how to kind of make your life beautiful again, you know, make your life feel beautiful. Nature, taking inspiration from nature will help you. I think that's going to help you a lot, actually, Gemini. I think taking earthly elements and elements from nature into your home, into your life, so you feel like you're connected to it, is really going to help uh, some of the anxiety that you feel. And then we have trust. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's see what's going on with these oracle cards. Um, I'm really excited to pull those three tarot cards at the very end to see what this celebration is all about. I don't know. I'm a little eager, but that's going to come last, okay? To see how everything kind of like gets pulled into that direction of celebration. Something is going to get pulled into that direction. Okay, so what's this adventure about death? <laughs> I'm sorry that I'm laughing. <laughs> this is just like so scorpionic. It's just like that Scorpio energy just like comes out out of nowhere. And they're just like, oh, you want to go on an adventure? Okay. <laughs> We're going to give you an adventure. Man, I'm telling you, this season, it's like, it's just full of surprises, okay? It's full of surprises. Whew. An adventure towards a rebirth. Yeah, that's what this adventure is. There's a rebirth. This is Scorpio energy, this death card. Okay, Gemini. Listen, this full moon in Taurus, it's coming. Halloween, it's coming. The dead are coming out. The costumes are coming out. The darkness, it's coming out. Live it. Be it. Embrace it. <laughs> Okay, Scorpio season offers us a chance to 
destroy the parts of ourselves that we don't want anymore, to get rid of the things that we don't want anymore. Yes, it does represent an actual death. Okay. Um, this card can represent an actual death. And I hate to say that. Especially after I laughed. But with it being... Scorpio season. It just makes sense that it's coming out. There is a sense of there being a light at the end of the tunnel, though. Like, I'm really... I'm feeling like you guys are going to experience this transformation, this rebirth in a very powerful way, in a very powerful way. There's a sense that like your soul is being This almost feels to me like a mental adventure, like an adventure through the mind. It's kind of like a death and a rebirth of the, of the intellect. <sighs> Sorry, I'm just like having a little bit of a headache right now. I feel like you're gonna go through some serious transformations. I feel like you guys are going to go through some serious transformations in November. Okay, let's keep going because this is like, this is really heavy over here. There might be an actual, like someone you know. There might be an actual death taking place. And I haven't seen that yet with this card. Okay, so let's keep going. For Grace, we have Six of Pentacles. This is Moon in Taurus. This is about giving to others, giving to those who are less fortunate than you, helping support others. Just like doing what you can within the means of what you have to help your community, to help society. And you come off really graceful doing it. There's a sense of like inner peace. Okay, for intuition, we have the moon card, Piscean. Wow. So we have death, we have six of pentacles, which is moon in Taurus, and then we have the moon. You're, you're being guided by your emotions right now, like really heavy. You're very heavily being guided by your emotions. This could be part of this transformation that's taking place. This is really heavy though. It's like, it's like, mm, it's really heavy though. It's like, um, it's almost like a death of the soul. You could be going through like a dark night of the soul kind of thing right now, or you will be. It's kind of like pulling, this kind of happens when you're unconscious and you're, it starts to pull at you. It kind of starts to like suck you in. So it, but it does that to show you something. It does that to show you things. Because with this moon card coming out, there's a lot, I feel like there's just a lot going on inside of you. And it's like, you need to learn how to tap in to your emotions 
For kindred spirits, we have three of swords. Saturn and Libra. Oh, um, there's a sense of having your heart broken. Oh, Lord. Maybe this rebirth has to do with you, like, clearing out old wounds. You're being triggered. There's something going on. Okay, there's something going on here with someone else where someone is, like, making you... There's something about them that's made... It's like you're being forced to face certain things about yourself you're being forced to kind of like look at yourself deeper you're being forced to look at yourself deeper and to kind of like clear out old wounds to clear out old wounds old pain sorry my heart it was itching for union we have five of wands this is saturn and leo okay a little bit of drama going on here. Okay, if this is some kind of like connection that you're in, it looks like there's some fighting. There's some fighting, there's some drama. Or you're fighting with yourself. I'm just going to keep pulling these cards because, and then for new beginnings, we have Eight of Cups. Okay. Um,. Saturn and Pisces. Okay, so you're walking away. Okay, so this is kind of like this death card. Pretty intense. But I feel like there's an ending that's coming. There's an ending that's coming with a certain friendship or relationship. Um, maybe you've been giving. Maybe you've been giving a lot to this friendship or to this relationship that you had. You felt like you had a kind of kindred spirit with this person. Um, and these like darker emotions are coming up. You know, there's, there's a lot of, there's like some fear here that people are holding secrets and someone and your intuition could be telling you that maybe this person is keeping too many secrets from you. They're not sharing with you and you've been like sharing with them a lot. And this person, it's like this death card. This person has been holding these secrets from you. And it's like, there's this sense of heartbreak. There's some, uh, conflict, uh, there's walking away because on top of new beginnings, you have the eight of cups, which is about walking away from that, which is not fulfilling you emotionally. Okay. And like going back, going to your path, going back on your path for beauty. We have the queen of wands. This is Aries energy. So it's like you are walking back. You are walking into your power here. You want to make your life beautiful. You're walking into this like queen energy of like inspiration and beauty and just like, because Aries represents new beginnings. Aries is the pioneer. They're the cardinal sign. They're the beginning of the zodiac. They kind of get it. They're like that spark that gets it all started, gets it all going. So the fact that this is coming out right after this new beginnings card and right after you walking away and it like it's it's showing you your beauty it's like showing you the beauty of these new beginnings you know to where you can really be inspired all over again to kind of start this new life now i'm starting to see why that celebration card came out okay to start this new life so something yeah there's definitely like some conflict here. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, discernment, two of cups. 
Venus in Cancer. Okay, so maybe you just needed to... Okay, so this relationship that you're in, you might... Maybe you just needed to kind of walk away from it to get your, like, shit together. Like, to get yourself back into this, like, queen state. But it could, this could also be someone else. I, I don't get that feeling, though. I get that feeling that this Two of Cups is like a reconciliation. It's like maybe, maybe you might be in a relationship where you guys are always like breaking up and getting back together. Okay. It's like you're breaking up and you're coming back together. You're breaking up and you're coming back together. It could be one of those types of relationships. But you're, but like, mm. When you, whenever you guys walk away from each other, you're able to kind of reclaim your sense of power within yourself. And then you can start looking at things from different perspectives because the fact that this two of cups is falling on top of discernment, discernment talks about looking at things closer, evaluating, analyzing, just kind of like being able to look at things from different perspectives, you know, uh, using your rational state of mind to um, make a decision but because I feel this two of cups is that same kindred spirit energy that came out earlier with the oracle card okay so there's like a, a sense of there's a new feeling of beauty happening here I'm really not feeling this as walking away from one relationship so you can go into another. Just because the, the energy is moving so quickly. I see this more as just like one of those situations where it's like, you know, you're breaking up and you think it's the end and it feels like the end and then you come back together and you break up, and you, you know, something like that. For nature, we have Ace of Pentacles. So it's like you're being rewarded over here. Okay, the universe is blessing you. You're being rewarded with um some beautiful beautiful things it could be because you were able to kind of step back because you were able to step back and kind of like see Okay, new begin walking away, new beginnings. And then like the passion kind of comes back here. And this ace of pentacles over here is like kind of reinforces that new beginning. Because aces are all about new beginnings, and the fact that it's the ace of pentacles, it really talks about a feeling of abundance, a feeling of like of like stability and like material inspiration sort of like a coming together and then for trust we have two of wands which is Mars and Aries it's kind of like trust that this new beginning is going to be is going to guide you in the right direction it's going to guide you in the right direction. So this like really heavy death card I was feeling. This could be something that you already dealt with in the past or that you're going to deal with. Like it might feel so strong and I'm feeling it really strongly right now. Like I don't know. Okay, so... But there's like a sense of like a rebirth here. So it's kind of like trust that this is going to take you in the right direction. This new beginning. Because you have an ace and then, and then you have the two. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull um, the last three cards. We have justice. We have seven of wands. Mars and Leo. And we have Queen of Swords, Libra. This is really interesting, Gemini. Hmm.
Okay, so we have Libra, Libra, Leo. <laughs> A balance. So the universe is coming in to bring balance. Okay. And then this, um, this Mars in Leo talks about some defensive energy. It talks about you. I'm feeling this is you kind of like standing up for your beliefs, standing up for your convictions, not taking any crap from anybody and really kind of turning into this like queen of swords, Libra, like strict, like you're going to say exactly what you think and exactly what you feel. Like you're just cutting out the bullshit. Basically you're cutting out the bullshit. That's, that's what it is. That's the most simplistic way to explain it. <clears throat> There's no, um, there's no going around it. So it's kind of like with this new beginning, with this kind of coming back together, I do kind of see this kind of vibe though. I see a pattern going on here of like, it's a very intense pattern. It's a pattern of, you know, there's passion, there's beauty, and then there's like, you know, the end and destruction and chaos and then beauty and then like it's like this constant figuring out this constant like rebirth okay and i do definitely feel this as a relationship especially if this libra energy is coming out um along with the justice card now the tr <laughs> celebration How does this pull everything together? This is what you need to tap and this is the energy you need to tap into. This is that because this is because this this energy that's going on with your um, with your spouse or your significant other or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your or whatever this energy is a little um, You guys need to find, okay, you guys need to stay connected to the parts of each other that celebrate life. You guys need to stay connected to this energy so you don't go through this roller coaster ride. If you want to avoid going through this like roller coaster ride of ups and downs, you need to stay connected to the idea of celebration and like like what is it that makes both of you just feel like life is fun and I don't know like um There's also a sense of needing to celebrate your individual independence as well. There's, there's a sense of like needing to celebrate life as like your own together, but also as your own people, like to discover what it is within you that just 
brings you to that state of just like pure like bliss okay especially for you Gemini because I'm feeling like you guys are the ones who are keeping things balanced like I feel like you guys are the ones that feel like you're you're carrying a lot of like the burdens and stuff like that and you just need to you need to go have some fun it could help to get dressed up into different characters like not be you <laughs> you know like put on a halloween costume get dressed up into different characters and might kind of trigger um some other sides of you it might kind of like help it might help the relationship grow okay this is what i have for you gemini um come back for mid-november december see how the story unfolds and i will see you guys next time bye